Hello! Hi, Chad. No costume today. Because I have to go outside later. Yo. So, I skipped the cosplay today. Hi! Hey, hey! Yeah, normie today. I have to go outside later. That's it! Thanks for the 31 months up! Thank you! Hi! Hello, everyone! Welcome back! Hello, hello, hello! Shall we do intro death? We haven't done it for a long time. Only a weeb would think this was a norm. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? This is super normie, no? Wait, what? This is super normie. What are you talking about? I I am like a super nor normal right now. No, this is not kimono. This is just um flower patterned shirts and pants but this is not kimono this is just you know you, you can't walk outside like this yeah it's it's um it's a clothes that i got from the osaka yeah just those shirts and pants i i bought it from the osaka hi hyundai uh pj even worse when you stood weep no <laughs> what do you go outside in that? Why not? Why not? It's just the clothes with the flower pattern on it. No? With little Hello Kitty on it. Where's Hello Kitty? Uh, here. But that's it. This looks, looks super normal. No? This seems extra. I mean, of course, I will not go outside like this in Korea. But like in Japan? Or other countries? Why not? Okay, but anyway. Hi guys! Why not in Korea? I don't know. Maybe not in Korea. <laughs>
Sunday over there. <sighs> mm, it's Monday here. <sighs> Gorgeous, thank you. But the problem is, <sighs> no, my, my. You know, I, I gained a lot, and then my booty got more bigger, and then this pants is too tight, so it it keep eating the pants. <laughs> Shit. Ah, I, I really need to do some diet. It's very uncomfortable. Let's see. Did it did it did it did it did it did it. Ooh, look at this, Chad. Look at the edit. Damn. Whoa. What the fuck? How you do this? I should learn it. Damn. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't look that. It doesn't look easy at all. Let's see. Most unusual fetish, my strange addiction. What the heck is this? Is it, is this stream okay? Like okay to watch on stream? I was on TV. Okay, let's let's watch this. What the heck is this? <coughs> But it doesn't have the it doesn't have the subtitle. My name's Kyle, I'm 31 years old, and I love fair laws, especially yours. Sex with older women. The truth is they like it. A 68 year old woman Can you hear the sound well, Chet? Can you hear the sound well? Is the volume fine? Enjoys. My name's Kyle, I'm 31 years old, and I love hair laws, especially yours. What about now? Is it better? A 68 year old woman enjoys passionate, vigorous sex just as much as a 23 year old college cheerleader. Seriously, I think I need to buy the headset. This is giving me so much stress. Ugh. But I don't like headset. It's too uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, no, not this one. 
Okay, there we go. Is it fine now? All good? My name is Kyle, I'm 31 years old, and I love grandmas, especially yours. Sex with older women. The truth is, they like it. A 68-year-old woman enjoys passionate, vigorous sex just as much as a 23-year-old college cheerleader. I met this lady online named Karen. I saw her pictures. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. And I am so looking forward to meeting her tonight. Karen, <laughs> you made it. <laughs> so good to finally meet you. <laughs> it's a little bit nerve-wracking because, well, he is so much younger than I am. I've got butterflies in my tummy. That hasn't happened in so long. Such a gent. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you. So oh, Karen showed up for dinner tonight. She looks sexy as hell. The long platinum hair. I mean, I thought, wow, when I saw her. It's so great to finally meet you. You I looked know. great online, but you look incredible in person. You really. Oh, yeah. What? Did... I didn't. I didn't pick up the phone. It... Oh, okay. Do. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say that. I clicked on you. Why did you respond? Like, how do we end up here? I look at, like, all of these celebrity women that are going out with younger men, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I should try it. You seem <laughs> to be intelligent, mm -hmm. although I'm not going to say... Wait, what? All the celebrity girls hang out with, what, younger... Well, maybe I should try it. I should you try women. Why did you respond? Like, how do we end up here? I look at like all of these celebrity women that are going out with younger men and I thought, well, you know, maybe I should try it. You seem to be intelligent, mm -hmm. although I'm not going to say that I necessarily decided to come out with you because of your mind. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> it's fun to be able to feel like this again, you know, just all excited and quivering and thinking, oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. So you've done a lot of traveling. I mean, that's... <laughs> It's good. Uh, oh, sorry. It's good to see her. Like, um, uh, she seems very happy. Like, how can I say that? You know, I feel like she, um, ha she has felt bored about life. You know, like she's getting old, but still, you know, it's like this. Like, um, as you grow. And then you got older, but you still feel like sometimes you are still like 20. And then you sometimes miss your youth. And then she seems like she probably like feel like, oh, I feel like now I turn back to when I was 25. Or, no, 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 not my future. I mean, like. Maybe. I've been around. Um, mm. Would you go with like someone like me? Because I'm old enough to be your mother, definitely. I mean, guys. Let's say that I am 60 years old, and I'm still hotting up, like, a uh, age 20. It something, must be you know? inspiring for you seeing a woman from your age group have success in dating. Maybe yeah, old enough to be your grandmother, but you're depending. Well, you're pretty enough to take home, though. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Let's shit. Dance. You want to dance? Yes, yes you're right. Oh. Come this one. Thank you. Come this one. The date with Karen was <laughs> incredible. She was 100% my type. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure it's okay to watch a stream? <laughs> oh, 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 but I want to watch it. I, I'm very curious. <laughs> I had a wonderful time with Kyle, and I've had such an amazing time. I just don't want it to end. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. <laughs> when I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. Wait, what? I'll take a 12 <laughs> inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. 
I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? is a nickname for people with a sexual fetish for balloons. What the heck? That's a nice balloon. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups of the lunar group. You got the popper that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non -pop. Addiction to balloons oh, started oh, when he was hospitalized. I mean, like, who the fuck ever, like, who the fuck ever thought the balloon in that way? Oh my gosh! I have, like, oh shit! He, he, this video just corrupted our mind, Chad. From now on, every time when I celebrate Chad's birthday party, Every time I blow the balloon <laughs> Oh shit Wait Wait a minute If if we let him play this game Is he gonna be like is, Wait wait Like if we if we let him play this game Then does he gonna feel like he's kinda watching like a feel the same as other people watching porn? It's his porn? It's a hentai for him? Oh no way! Oh shit! Okay. Just for well, okay. This this is the most weirdest thing that I've ever seen. What the fuck? This I think this is not this is not healthy. Like seriously, seriously, this one. Th okay, a anything but not this one. This one is like too unhealthy. I guess. Oh yeah, destroy the boons. Oh yes, upgrade <laughs> their monkey to arch match with yeah. <laughs> Four years oh. old. My mother come I've to never, visit. I have never seen this kind of stuff. I didn't even know there One time were she... such a, like such people like this who have a fetish in balloons. And then like I was like, how the on how the I mean, how how on earth he like felt the, uh sexual like something through the balloon. And then after they show me the videos, I kind of understand like. Like, it's kind of like, the way they treated the balloon was kind of like, you know, you know, like, make us imagine Lucky something else. Lucky he didn't no. know that you can blow a, a rubber glove, lol. <laughs> no. Gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it, and I heard the balloon pop. A real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it, and I heard the balloon pop. So... After she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and... Uh... Wait, what does that mean? I can't understand. There's no subtitle. Can you explain, Chet? Um, he saves balloons. He doesn't like the sound of popping. He doesn't like balloon popping. Uh-huh. He saved all balloons. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh-huh. He cares about the balloons as if it's a person. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what a hero. Um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull. Uh, misshapen. 
I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. Oh my gosh. So he just walking around and collect all the balloons to save it? Try not to make it die? Like, try not to make it pop? Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know of is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. But wait, wait, he has a wife? <laughs> Wait, wait, then, then, uh, is he gonna ask her wife that, honey, can you wear some balloon costume for me? As a, as a special gift for me? <laughs> but she accepted. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Chip in my car. <laughs> Morning, baby. My handsome man. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. How, how can he drive it? <laughs> if he really loves the car like that, I don't think he can drive it. Like, imagine something like fall on the car and then scratch it. He will cry. The undercarriage of the car must be rusted up from all the extra salt. He gaps it. Oh! Oh shit, I need to go and get the COVID test. Maybe tomorrow. I don't think I can do it today. Oh, I totally forgot about it. Chat, tomorrow day off. I need to go check it. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, huh? Oh, right. Today is the day that I have to do the COVID test. Yeah, today or uh, tomorrow, I am supposed to do it. Because uh, it's uh, the policy. I came from the America, so I have to do the twice test, COVID test. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here. Okay, so this guy will ask his girlfriend to wear the Optimus Prime costume. <laughs> Shit. It's getting more and more weirder. And just kind of caress him down the side. His boyfriend? My initial reaction was I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. Objectophilia is when a person developed a strong emotional and sexual relationship with an inanimated object. Oh shit. Some cases include attractions to a roller coaster. What? An elevator and Eiffel Tower. Why? Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. He likes a lot of the same music I do. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ariel Speedwagon. I do get a guess how you'd buy something for your fiance or your wife. And then usually for his birthday, I try to do something special for him too. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. I love you. But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. 
Does that feel good? You're a handsome man. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. This is an interactive squid game quiz. You have to make one or two choices and it will take you to next video to see if you survive. <laughs> Jesus, man. A mysterious van pulls up in front of you. You are given the chance to play deadly games for a fortune. What is this spoiler? Okay. I don't know. You you guys uploaded in the media share. <laughs> let's see. But let's watch it. Uh, the fuck is this? Who uploaded this one? Let's see. What is this? All gas, no brakes. Neither was too far fast. Man, you know what it is, man. We're here live at the Midwest Fur Fest in Rosemont, Illinois, figuring out what the fur is going on. You said West Side? First off, fuck your bitch and the click you click. You dig? Fur gang, bitch. Ugh. Surprise, motherfucker. Free Take K, free Palestine. You ain't this shit, Take K. What's a few lives when you got bars? I got a hat on right now because my hair looks like blown out cow pussy when it's like been under fursuit for so long. I Shout out to Antifa. Respect our troops. Any win against Tom Brady is a win to defeat racism. For his do not fuck with Kamala Harris, Bernie 2020, Bernie or Riot. Shouts out to the guy that robbed PewDiePie's house. Fuck a beat. I'm just trying to beat the case, but you I ain't beat that case. Bitch, I did the race. <laughs> Beat it up. No, oh, no shorty face. Oh. <laughs> Straight gas. And keep a super soldier. Hell yeah. After infiltrating the Flat Earth Conference in Texas, I decided to head north. 9,000 miles to Midwest Fur Fest, the largest anthropomorphic cosplay event in the world. To find out once and for all what the fur is going on. What the fur is going on? What the fur is going on? What the fur is going on? Fucking tell me, Andrew, what the fur is going on? My name's Dopio. What's your name, sir? What's up, Dopio? I'm Andrew. Rawr. Rawr. Because I'm a doggy. Rawr. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe I'd steal some scraps when the master's not looking, and maybe I bark at the newsman or the mailman. It's not my fault they're trying to attack us. Arr. 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 There you go, you got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Make my dick work again. Wait, what? Shout out to Woody Allen. <laughs> if you actually like vaping, you don't use a jewel. Ah! All right, I'm gonna give you an ultimatum. If you had to give up one of the two, would you give up furry lifestyle or vape lifestyle? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, vape easily. You would stop vaping for furry. I think furry is way more fun. I'm a big dumb bird. Blue Jay. Or Blue Jay's dumb. Absolutely. So yeah. many Most birds are dumb, ask. but that's okay. I live in immigrant housing uh, with a bunch of other undocumented memes. people because I don't have an ID or a social security card <laughs> or any credit because familiar. I'm trying to live off this the grid because that's how committed I am to not being human. <laughs> Society likes to like have an ego, right? And animals are the ultimate form of not having one. What animal are you? Somewhere between a wolf and a kitten. So it's like, it's like a made up thing called a witten. I like to purr a lot, but only during sex, and then I just go. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? What did she say? I only heard the word sex. Wait, what did she say? 
Um, the mirror. She likes to purr a lot. Oh, shit. And like, yiff, yiff. Good boy. <laughs> Fuck with us and then we tweak it, huh? Tweak it, huh? Bobby Schmurder gets released from prison, like, in three days. It's been seven fucking years, dude. Like, we needed you. you Keep 6 9 in jail, though, for fucking snitching, bitch. How old's your baby? She's five months old. Shout out to my parents for adopting her and my, my gay boyfriend for staying in Ohio, because he's gay. Do you have a craziest furry story? Yeah, for, okay, for a couple of days, um, one of my really best friends was like, hey, you like being an animal so much, why don't you eat off of the floor and the ground? And then it turned into two days of me, like, not speaking, and I just ate, like, literal cat food and, like, drank out of a bowl. How'd that make you feel? Good. Why? Because I got head pats. Are you a furry? I am a furry, yes. So what does that mean? <laughs> two. Because I got a head pad? Uh, become a big strong beaver and de defend my community. You're on the way, man. Thanks for building all the dams and keeping us Thank safe you. and keeping our waterways good. Yeah. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Yeah. You do a great job. Thank you. I like sandwiches. He loves sandwiches. Ah! <laughs> 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 big, ah! Big sandwich gang. Yeah. Salute. Thank you. Furry gang, baby. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> Within hours, I found myself absolutely captivated by the sheer diversity of it all. Thousands of animals living in peace. We're both river otters, North American river otters. I'm a jackal, subterranean African wild dog. I'm an ultra sub when it comes to that, just <laughs> being absolutely taken advantage of. I've always considered myself a tiger ever since I was a little kid. Born in the year of tiger. My dad called me a tiger. Favorite animals, tiger, lions, cats. That's beautiful, man. You can do you knock stuff off the table? Yeah. Like what? Glasses, bottles, papers, stuff that won't break. But what I didn't expect to find was the epicenter of an explosive new furry fetish. <laughs> Alien impregnation. So uh, as you're using the main shaft of it, you're being caressed by all the smaller tentacles on the base. A lot of people who have an alien impregnation fetish uh, fantasize oh, about uh, being oh, uh, full of hell. eggs or having eggs inserted into them. And uh, the, the tentacle base just feels really good. People put, put, the, put this in their butt, the whole thing? Oh, yeah. Yep. These are wait, wait, ovipositors. What? They have whole, a whole thing? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. But the whole thing? Uh, the, the tentacle base just feels really good. People put, put, the, put this in their butt, the whole thing? Did he just say that? Put that thing on the butthole? Oh yeah, yep. These are ovipositors. They have a hole going up through them, so you would make eggs out of gelatin, and you would insert them, insert them into the bottom and, uh, you know, add more until they start to pop out the other end. Shout out to all the alien enthusiasts. I really like the eggs are like gelatin and they're food safe, so they, and they dissolve, so if you put one inside of you, like, it'll dissolve and it won't get stuck in there and you don't have to worry about going to the hospital. Wait, 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 Shout out wait. to the bottom hole going up. in their butt, the whole thing? Oh yeah, yep. These are... Uh, I don't, I don't think they put inside wait what hold on i'm very like f confused right now but it's too big it's like it's like this size <laughs> it's like this size and this thick he's holding like this this thick this size. How the fuck they can put that inside their butthole? I don't think so.
Jelly egg in bot. What is jelly egg? They store smaller in practice. Ah! They lay the egg inside? Wait, what? Hold on, Chad. I am, I am very confused right now. Alien fetish. They want to... Kum egg? Wait a minute, wait a minute, am I- am I understanding right? Hold on, maybe this one I can show. This one seems okay, fine. Okay, it looks like this. And then, are you saying that they put all the way in? They put jelly eggs inside of that. Then it pushes eggs inside them. They put jelly eggs inside of this? Then it pushes egg inside them? Wait, wait, what does that mean? What? What does that mean? Hold on. This solve? <laughs> Wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I understanding it right? So, they push it inside and then put jelly egg inside through the pipe and then take it out and then. He wanted to pretend to get pregnant with the alien. <laughs> And then they want to... They want to put the egg? Or they just want to... Hold the egg inside the... They want to lay egg? This are balloons. Which one's weirder? <laughs> This one, this one, this one is way, way more weird than the balloon. Okay, let's say that there's only two options. Like your girlfriend or boyfriend, you have to choose only between two. One, alien fetish. Two, balloon fetish. I think I would rather choose the balloon fetish for sure. How the fuck you can put that inside your butthole and then like put the jelly egg inside and then lay it out? Like imagine that you're a girlfriend. Honey, I have a huge alien fetish. Please do this for me. Please, please. And then she bring the, 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 the giant, you know, with the ten tentacles on it and then push push it inside your bottle and then push one by one jelly eggs inside and then take it out and then lay it lay it out you just pregnant lay it out like that holy shit no you have to do it alien doesn't have gender I changed my mind. I think I even like gambling in Vegas more than those videos. <laughs> A house full of balloons, or one of those sitting on your bedroom dresser. Which is worse? A house full of balloons, or one of those sitting on your bedroom dresser. One of those 
Sitting on your bedroom dresser. One of those? Which one? You mean this? This tentacle stuff? On my bedroom dresser? Uh, like, what is, what is dresser? Like a closet? The fuck? Of course, balloon! Uh, okay. Okay. Honestly, I think oh, the, the furry yeah. is a like crazy shit. Like, I, I didn't know. Like, okay. Hi. Thanks for the three months up. Thank you. When you guys, like, um, making joke about the furry and then the, the blah, 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 like that was like, uh, hmm, what? And then, like, I just realized that. There's a crazy word. Oh my god, guys, I am shocking so much. I thought it's what I have seen is just like all the the end of the content in this word, but somehow there's more and more new, 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 like, like what is that? Unknown stuffs coming out. Like the rule thirty four. Literally, it exists. No way. I mean, how can people have a fetish on balloon, car, alien? I mean, they have a fetish on in in animal stuff. What is that? Like not animal. Not animal stuff and animal in animated no, you know what? I don't want to go for a uh, convention anymore. <laughs> whatever. No lube, no nothing. Secrete whatever you need to. Spacecraft me. Very much love for you. Right, yeah, definitely. Yo, shout out to any aliens that are watching this. I would love for you to come to my house. My phone number is um, fine. I, I would very much like it if you just came into my house, abducted me, uh, took me up anywhere, your choice, the attic, spacecraft, whatever. No lube, no nothing. Secrete whatever you need to. Hardcore. <laughs> Gotta be a sexy alien. You wanna fuck? <laughs> Dank nugs, chill as fuck. Wait, why? Dank nugs, chill as fuck. What does that mean? Uh, I like to smoke weed. Are you chill? Yeah. Why are you chill? Uh, it's just how I was born, you know? Born chill. What's the chillest thing you've ever done? Uh... Rude boy bears, rush up the place. Chilled. That's pretty chill. Just kick back? Yeah. How do you like to relax? Like, how do you get in your zone? <laughs> weed. What's your favorite kush strain? Anything. You smoke any kind of kush? Pretty much, yeah. You smoke that, that $5... Uh, no, I don't fuck with the with the low grade shit. So you will fuck with the high grade kush. Yeah. Uh, two. Push up the place. And then kill him. <laughs> Just maybe I'd found my tribe, a group of people who would accept me for who I really am and allow me to unleash the beast within. But before I could let out a final furry gang, baby, I was already fucked. Ah! I'm Franklin, the fantastical fuck falcon, and I will not stop. Yeah! What the furry? <sighs> oh my gosh, oh my god, okay, wow. 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 Oh. Uh... Oh, I think we don't have this in Korea. So, yeah. Jesus Christ. And then, Gigo. Korean reacts to TikTok only guys can understand. Huh? What is that? <laughs> only guys can understand? <laughs> <laughs> Can we watch more of all gas no breaks, please? Uh, I'll think about it. Let's watch this one. I'm 
뭐지? 응? 뭔지 좀알것 같아요. 옛날에 여자들이 이해 못하는 거에 나왔었던 것 같은데? 줄기랑 달라진 거 아니에요? <웃음> 무슨 줄기를 말하는 아, 거죠? 저도 잘 모르겠는데 어 그게 무슨 줄기인지는 잘 모르겠고 별로 안 쓰세요. 음... 편집이 계시죠? I, 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 I think this is about P, but I don't get it. Sometimes P comes out like that. What the fuck is that mean? <laughs> Before and after. Sometimes it comes out to stream like that. Why? After. Block hole? How? I mean, are you saying that this happened casually? Four skin or little hair? What the fuck? Wait, what? That's why we sit down? Because some boys have two ding dolls. I don't know, eh? What is four skin? Wait, are you saying that it's regularly blocked? No, no? Like, it's blocked sometimes? Let's the, the, the skin cover it? No, I don't know what that is. Uh. Ah, okay, I think I know what that is. Okay, I just don't know the English word again. I think I kind of understand. But the, the thing is that... Wait, it's regularly blocked, chat? There's a hole, right? And then it's regularly blocked? Like your your skin cover it, so you have to peel off. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Wait, do you peel off it? Do you peeling off the skin of the part? <laughs> no? So, you're saying that you just went to the bathroom like all like uh, always and then start peeing and then it split it like this. Then what should what what should you what 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 are you supposed to do? Let it happen, but it's gonna like split all of all around. You are in both sides? Oh shit, okay. Then what? After that, it turned into one stream? It started with the two stream and then turned into one stream like this? <笑>あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとう
굳이 수제꼭지를 저렇게 할 필요가 있었을 때 <웃음> 저분이 남자네요. 어, 어, 사쿠라죠. 물 사쿠라지. 아니 뭐. 보통 설거지하고 저렇게. 왜 뭐? 뭐 너. 저게 뭐. 아니 왜 굳이 저거를 저렇게. This person didn't shake two times. She can bear a lot of time. 수제꼭지를 저렇게 할 필요가 있어. You said the only two, no? 아니 뭐 보통 설거지하고 저렇게 털고 하세요. 아네 설거지하고 물 이렇게 털어줘야죠. 아, 아니 정리 그 깔끔하신 분이네요. 아, 쓰기 좀 그러면 물을 털어야죠. 깔끔하신 분이. 네 저분은 확실히 남자네요. 수도꼭지 이제 하신 분이. 손 은수냅이 장난 아니시던데요? 원래 저렇게 하, 하나? <웃음> 굉장히 비슷하네요 근데. 뭐가 비슷해요? 그물 청소할 때 수도꼭지 청소할 때. <웃음> 왜요? 왜? 저거 왜 안? 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 <laughs> my my panties are like pants kind of like <laughs> rolled up like that, so I take it out. <laughs> what about you guys? What what you do? No, no, it's a uh, because uh because I think it's because I I have a big booty, so usually. The panties like kind of like rolled up like this inside, you know what I'm saying? In my case, I'm i I'm, I'm it's because of the booty. Yeah, if you are like if you have a flat booty, it's just the state. But because like there is, it's kind of rolled up like this. You know, it's hard to explain. Just it's very uncomfortable. But anyway, why why the guys do this? Why? Two leg get stuck? Like, or just how? Stuck to leg? <laughs> Wait, so when you sit, your leg is here, and then you sit down, and then it's here, and then this one is kind of stuck on your leg skin, so you have to, from sweat. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Ah, uh, on side? Or where? You let's say that you sit down like this and then wait 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 that's it that, 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 oh hold on hold on hold on hold on if I drew the oh wait wait wait, 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 wait it's getting a little weird okay so oh uh, about two circles this is fine. And then... Leg? Okay. This is fine, right? Okay, and then you're saying that this side? Here? <laughs> Only one side. Like here or here or or here. Like one, two, three. T 
to here? Okay, I'm gonna draw only one leg. <laughs> okay, and then, like, like here? If someone's balls get stuck on outside of leg, he's 80 years old. Like here? No, guys, it's just too circle and too line. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> Mmm, okay. Oh yeah, wait a minute, guys underwear has like a pocket, no? There's a pocket. So that you can put the things inside the pocket like this, no? <laughs> Guy's underwear is not flat. Guy's underwear has a little, like, more space here, front. No? So you can, you can, you can lay the thing on here, no? Female underwear is flat. But the guy's underwear is not flat. It has like a the the pocket here. <laughs> no. Then you're supposed to find no. Boxers are flat. Wait a minute! I have a great idea. What about why? What about we invent? <laughs> oh, okay, it's getting more weird. Okay, what about we invent um underwear to look like this? <laughs> then you can you can put thing here and then you, you can don't buy have underwear to like about... that. But most down, Chad has been buying the same underwear for twenty years without looking. Then you you don't have to worry about it stick on your leg, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, last time when I was in a Kappa Pride convention, they kind of wearing like this. You know what I'm saying? So, I think they don't have to worry about the things stick on their leg. No? We don't wear speedo, Yugi. But if the... Un oh shit, okay. But if the underwear look like... Th oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Everything looks so weird! Okay, but like... It, what I'm saying is that between leg and the thing, if there's a... Close between the thing, then you don't have to worry about it, no? That's uncomfortable? Is it? Is it uncomfortable, check? In my case, I I wear padded bra, right? So uh when I like move this kind of go this way. Like the penny bra is like a push up. So um you you have to grab the boob and then place it top of the pad. 
you know, like there's a sponge here and then you grab it and then lay it like that. But if you like do some stuffs, it's kind of slowly moving this side again. So sometimes, no, not sometimes. I, I often like when every time I go bathroom, I do this again. And then like, hi chat, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to just. 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 I like all the women understand that like, oh shit the guy kind of oh my god yeah <sighs> 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 이게 뭐지? 이거는 게임할 때 중요한 거 아닌가요? 무슨 게임이에요? 배그도 있고 뭐 보통 What's 배그죠? This? 군대 갔다 온 남자분들도 이해하죠? 되게 좋아하시잖아요. 네. 뭘것 같아요? 카드 덤원? 근데, 근데 이제 소리가 중요하죠. 소리가 <웃음> 중요해요? <웃음> 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 아니 뭐 마시는 소린가? 알려 이건 뭐 그냥 뭐 이상한 거 아니고 그냥 사격할 때 숨을 참으면은 이 흔, 호흡의 흔들림이 줄어들다 보니까 그냥 뭐 배그나 코로 같은 거에도 다 그런 키가 있어요. 숨 참기 키가. 와 진짜요? 네. 숨을 참고예요? 그 게임 하면서 숨을 참진 않는데. <웃음> Wait, did you understand that one? I don't get it. Anybody understand that one? What What is this? Hold his breath IRL. Gamer? Thing? Game thing? Gone joke? Uh, when you play the FPS game? Ah, uh, even though it's not a real gun, they kinda like doing it. <laughs> Typing. English. Ah, shit. My English key is not like that. You want go? Huh? <laughs> what the heck is this? Wait, my my maybe my keyboard and your keyboards is different. Really? 
My keyboard is like wide one, so I don't have like that, so I don't know. <웃음> 아, 왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜왜
있겠죠? 닦는 이유에는 발가락으로 파트를 만들고 응? 있어요. 영상이라 해야 되지? <웃음> 왜요? 왜? 왜? 뭔데요? 아니 발가락을 왜 이렇게 쥐어 짜고 있지? 발가락 운동이지 뭐. 많이 하시나 봐요. <웃음> 저게 뭔데요? 발 운동이에요. 보시는 것처럼. <웃음> 아, 발 운동? 아, 이거 맞아요. 제가 사진 봤어요. 기분 좋을 땐가? <웃음> <웃음> 好，do <音> 아닌가? 그러니까 자리가 많은데 옆에 와가지고 남의 거 보고 걷다 생각해서 옆으로 물러나는 건가? 이러고 많이 나오지 진짜? 않아요? 어, 이건 뭐죠? 핸드폰 보고 옆으로 물려놨으니까 아니 굳이 옆으로 가는 것도 이제 자신감 아닌가요? 아, 자신감으로 옆으로 가는데 이 사람이 너무 이러니까 막 어머 졌다 네. 하고 옆으로 가 네, 이게 뭐야? 어머 졌다 하고 아니, 자신감 때문에 이제 갔는데 아, 다른 사람 가는 거 이거 아니죠? 아, 옆으로 가는 거 아니죠? 아 오케이 But like, why didn't he just uh, occupy another one at the first time? Why? Why? Bluetooth off. Secret mode? Ah, I don't know. 아, P 5까지 쳤다고. 아. 시크릿 모드. 아. Wait, what is secret mod? 어. Wait, 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 wait. 까지 쳤다고. 오케이. 아. 시크릿 모드. 아. 시크릿 모드예요? 아 감사합니다 알려주셔서 <웃음> 아 이런 기능 몰랐네 <웃음> 피오 칩 쳐보면 나와요? 지금까지 <웃음> 기그리 맨날 저한테 이상한 거 알려줘요 <웃음> 충분히 다 남자들이 이해할 수 있는 것들만 있었고 그리고 또 하나 배운 것도 있네요 오케이 <웃음> okay, that that was interesting yeah like uh, I didn't know those kind of stuffs I can tell that human, I mean, not human, not human, girl and man is um, physically different. We, I, I can tell that we have pretty different body. That's interesting. Yeah, I learned some, some kind of like biological stuff today. Interesting. Little wholesome stuff. Oh, Bongo was like this when he was very young, like when he was a kitten, like size of this. Somehow, cats are very small when they're baby. Chat, they're like size of size of this. You can you can hold it even with one hand, you know. Oh, so cute, but they grow up so fast, you know. Yeah, babies are really small. So adorable. Oh. And I like to hear the sound. The cat when they're happy, they make a the sound. It makes feel very happy. Like very satisfying. So uh I all the time put my ears on their belly like this. To hear the sound, yeah, so so chill. They make you feel very relaxed. Oh, so cute. Human ASMR is kind of annoying, but what they're doing is very cute. Uh, let's see.
What is this? Hey girl, will you take a picture of me and my boyfriend? Sure. Instagram influencer lives a per lives perfect life until the shocking truth is exposed. What do you two have planned this time? I know, just going on a date. Make sure you get a close up on the shoes. <sighs> Honey. D horror man oh no. What what is that? Honey, look, Jackie went on another date with her man. Seems like they go out a lot. Yeah. And she got 500 likes too. She just posted this photo. Dang, 500 likes? That's a lot. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. What about me, Kevin? I mean, she gets to go on these nice dates all the time and I'm just sitting here in my pajamas. What Wait, I thought you liked staying in. And besides, you really shouldn't believe everything you see on social media. You just don't get it. What's wrong with her? This girl is so weird. How's it look? That looks so real. Check it out. OMG, that does look real. You know I gotta do it for my followers. Wow. You really look pretty for this vacation. I know, right? Hey, do you mind taking another pic of me before I go? Sure. And don't forget to get the Chardonnay. Okay, can't go on a romantic vacay without it. She's going on another trip? I can't believe this. Oh, is she keep making fake photo to make people think that she's going a trip or something? Oh, that's so weird. Like, I mean, like, do people actually do that? All IG? No, I don't do that. All fake, she has a boyfriend. Oh, she doesn't even have a boyfriend. But, like, uh... Uh, tons of IG people do it. Oh, uh, as long as the people I know, we don't. Like me, my friends, we all like to post something on the social media and then taking uh, beautiful pictures and then like filming some clips, but we don't do those shit, you know? You know that I all the time take a picture and then make like uh, clips on stream. Yeah. Kevin, she's going on another vacation. Who? Who do you think? Jackie. Didn't she just get back from one? Exactly. And look, she already got a thousand likes. It's so not fair. I mean, why does it date with this dumb ass? Just break up. Oh my god, this is giving me so much stress. I feel so sorry for him. You know? Yeah. I mean, how come you never take me on any vacation? What the fuck, bitch? If you want to go vacation, why don't you make some money and then like, like, what about like bring your boyfriend to the vacation? What the fuck does that mean? She's so fucking like, bitch. Why does he expect him to like, like, why are you like taking me vacation while like other girls like the, her boyfriend bring her a vacation? You make the money and then bring your boyfriend to the vacation, like go like vacation together like that. This is so weird. But babe, I thought you hated flying. Last He's too nice. If I if I were there, I would rather like tell him to break up. You don't deserve this. Break up with this bitch. It was a fake? What? Last time I suggested a trip, you said no. Well, maybe I want a trip now. Oh shit. Where is all this coming from, Stacy? I'm just tired of seeing all these girls doing fun things on Instagram and all the while I'm just here, stuck at home, all- No, no, no. Cause like, because uh, people upload something, um, uh, like uh, what is that? How do you say that? Event 
on the social net social networks they don't they don't usually i mean they don't take a picture while they wear pajama and then like <laughs> their face. like they usually just uh, go out and then take a picture when they are going good place having good food all the good moments but it doesn't mean that they're doing that thing every day you know yeah and then Oh my god, all these girls having like a super fun and then blah, 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 blah. all day. I mean, most of people stay at home. That's a good thing. What the fuck is she talking about? I'm getting out of the house. Hold on, I'll come with you. So where are you two off to this time? <laughs> Girl, nowhere. You know I don't have money to travel. Anyways, I gotta run. Catch you later. Sounds good. Bye. Wow. Woof. Now that is beautiful. Just gotta get the right angle. She's engaged. Her boyfriend just proposed. Proposed? I thought she just started dating this guy. Well, when you love someone, that's what you do, Kevin. You propose. I'm confused, Stacy. You're the one who said you weren't in a rush to get engaged. I guess I changed my mind. Look at Jackie's stones. It's huge. No what if it's... What if... Guys, you know what? <laughs> Kevin, run. Guys, guys. What? Ugh. Jesus, do you guys know the Claire, the 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 children like toy store, not toy like a for for like a stops for the children, ring, hairband, backpack. Yeah, last time I went there, and then check out some rings for like a uh, proposed genie just for fun as a content. What like we are supposed to do like a uh, going Vegas together, you know, and then. If, if I wear that and then take a picture, you can't tell that this is like an actual diamond or something. Like, if you just take a picture and then upload it to Instagram and then I got a huge diamond, it's like a, it's like a billion dollar, like, uh, like who knows? It might be a, like a five dollar Claire plastic ring. <laughs> no wonder she got 24,000 likes. My last post, I didn't even break 200. Honey, please, you don't have to compare your life to hers. I mean, I, I compare my life to others too, but not in this way. I wish I have Jackie's life and a man who loved me the same way. Mm. Horrible, 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 horrible. No, I mean, I compare myself with someone but I don't compare like the people around me with other people. That this is so shitty. You know? I have never like done that. You know what I'm saying? I just compare about my I, I just complaining to myself. Not not the people around me. This is so Yeah, why why does he even still date with her? Yeah. Right? This is so annoying. Wait. Isn't that Jackie right there? Oh. Yeah, it is. But I thought she was on vacation. Ma'am? Are you buying the ring or not? <laughs> no, actually, I just wanted to take a couple of pictures with it. So you've been wasting my time all along? I'm not here to allow people to take photos of my rings. I'm here to sell them. Well, fine. You know, you don't have to be so rude about it. What the fuck? Jackie? Oh, uh, hi, do I know you? Yes, I mean, no, um, I'm Stacy. I follow you on Instagram. Oh. I'm sorry, but I thought you were on vacation. Oh, um, I was. I, I'm late for an appointment. Uh, I have to run. I'm confused. So does that mean she's not really engaged? Wow, I 
I can't believe this. All this time, she's been faking it? See, I told you, babe. You've been stressing for no reason. You're right. Look, I... I'd like to say that I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. 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 What? If I, if I were Kevin, whatever. I would break. No, she never gonna be chained that. That's her personality. Like, yeah. She will do the same thing to, like, other guys, too. Oh, shit. I guess you really can't believe everything you see on social media. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Kevin is too nice! I love a relationship. Shut up! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Can we go home now? I really miss being in my PJ. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Darman fam. I. Oh my gosh. Okay. Jesus. But seriously, chat? Like, people on social media, do, do you think that people on social media are like this? Is this like a prejudice about the social media? I don't think like 100%, but just the, some people are like that. Like, some people who are obsessed with the um, attention, you know, attention from the people. Yeah, just the unhealthy people, but I can't tell that old people are like that. Mm hmm Narcissists. I mean, narcissist is fine, but it's, I don't know. Let's see. TikTok famous teen kicked out of office, instantly regretted. No, why were people lying their posts? Next, you gonna tell me people Photoshop their body. Ah. Okay, maybe I should stop uh get stressed about the thing that all the girls have a fine body or something. Maybe some are just a photoshop. Yeah. Uh okay. Very emotional video. To this Day project. When I was a kid, I used to think that pork chops and karate chops were the same thing. I thought they were both pork chops. And because my grandmother thought it was cute, and because there <laughs> Wait, were. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> pork chop. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to think that pork chops and karate chops were the same thing. <laughs> I thought they were both pork chops. And because my grandmother thought it was cute, and because they were my favorite, she let me keep doing it. Not really a big deal. One oh. day, before I realized fat kids are not designed to climb trees, I fell out of a tree <gasps> and bruised the right side of my body. Oh, shit. I didn't want to tell my grandmother about it because I was scared I'd get in trouble for playing somewhere I shouldn't have been. A few days later, the gym teacher noticed the bruise and I got sent to the principal's office. From there, I was sent to another small room with a really nice lady who asked me all kinds of questions about my life at home. I saw no reason to lie. As far as I was concerned, life was pretty good. I told her whenever I'm sad, my grandmother gives me karate chops. This led to a full-scale investigation, and I was removed from the house for three days. Oh, shit. Until they finally decided to ask how I got the bruises. News of this silly little story quickly spread through the school and I earned my first nickname, Pork Chop. To this day, I hate pork chops. I'm not the only kid who grew up this way. Surrounded by people who used to say that rhyme about sticks and stones. As if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called, and we got called them all. So we grew up believing no one would ever fall in love with us. That we'd be lonely forever. That we'd never meet someone to make us feel like the sun was something they built for us in their tool shed. 
So broken heartstrings bled the blues as we tried to empty ourselves so we would feel nothing. Don't tell me that hurts less than a broken bone. That an ingrown life is something surgeons can cut away. That there's no way for it to metastasize, it does. She was eight years old. Our first day of grade three when she got called ugly. We both got moved to the back of class so we would stop getting bombarded by spitballs. But the school halls were a battleground. We found ourselves outnumbered day after wretched day. We used to stay inside for recess because outside was worse. Outside we'd have to rehearse running away or learn to stay still like statues, giving no clues that we were there in grade five. They tipped a sign to the front of her desk that read, beware of the dog. To this day, despite a loving husband, she doesn't think she's beautiful because of a birthmark that takes up a little less than half her face. Kids used to say she looks like a wrong answer that someone tried to erase but couldn't quite get the job done. And they'll never understand that she's raising two kids whose definition of beauty begins with the word mom. Because they see her heart before they see her skin. Because she's only ever always been amazing. He was a broken branch grafted onto a different family tree. Adopted. Not because his parents opted for a different destiny. He was three when he became a mixed drink of one part left alone and two parts tragedy started therapy in eighth grade, had a personality made up of tests and pills, lived like the uphills were mountains and the downhills were cliffs, for fifth suicidal, a tidal wave of antidepressants and an adolescence being called pauper. One part because of the pills, 99 parts because of the cruelty. He tried to kill himself in grade 10 when a kid who could still go home to mom and dad had the audacity to tell him, get over it. As if depression is something that can be remedied by any of the contents found in a first aid kit. To this day, he is a stick of TNT lit from both ends. Could describe to in detail the way the sky bends in the moments before it's about to fall. And despite an army of friends who all call him an inspiration, he remains a conversation piece between people who can't understand. Sometimes being drug free has less to do with addiction and more to do with sanity. We weren't the only kids who grew up this way. To this day, kids are still being called names. The classics were hey stupid, hey spaz. Seems like every school has an arsenal of names getting updated every year. And if a kid breaks in a school and no one around chooses to hear, do they make a sound? Or they just background noise from a soundtrack stuck on repeat when people say things like kids can be cruel? Every school was a big top circus tent, and the pecking order went from acrobats to lion tamers, from clowns to carny. This, this giving me like a, like a what I have experienced and then have been through all the thing. Yeah, flashback. Do you do you call it flashback? Oh shit! Cause like uh, I was literally felt the same way when I was a teenager in school in class. I, f I feel like I was going um war or something when every time I go to school. I, I didn't like to go to school to uh see the people in the school. Like it, it gave me too much stress. You know? Yeah, every day was too stressful to me. I didn't really like to go to school. <sighs> All of these miles ahead of who we were, we were freaks. Lobster claw boys and bearded ladies. Oddities juggling depression and loneliness, playing solitaire, spinning the bottle, trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourselves and heal. But at night, while the others slept, we kept walking the tightrope. It was practice, and yes, some of us fell. But I want to tell them that all of this is just. For the raid, welcome raiders. Hello, hi chat. We're watching some medias that chat shared. The smile, why? Welcome raiders. Hi. Hello, hello. Thanks for raid, Jenny. Thank you. Hope we're doing well. Hi. Yeah. So we're we're talking about very and um, we're watching a very emotional media and then talking about. It. Yeah, honestly, I thought. Yeah. 
I'm ne hi, hi. I'm n I'm never. I. Oh my god, this video is too emotional. I. Well, okay, pass is pass. I've never said this. And then, not many people know this. But. I actually tried to. I actually tried it when I was a teenager. It was just a. Uh, Just every day was very... Yeah, I actually tried it. And then... Well... Yeah, that, that time life, life sucks. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing is that... Uh, now... My life is pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. Just... It was like uh, when I was in high school. And then... I was just a very sick and tired of everything that... Like... I feel like there's nobody next to me. No friend. And then, parents want me to just, uh... Wait... <laughs> Wait, Mon, what you been... <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so... Uh, like... And then, my parents keep telling me... To study... I mean, like, that's what exactly they told me, like... Get, get through? Is that right? Get it through? Like... If you get a good score, and then if you go good university, everything will be fine. Your life will be successful, happy. You don't have to think about all the people around you. Get over it. Yeah, get over it. Like, I told my parents that I don't have friends in school. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to eat alone in the lab, uh, cafeteria. Can I just quit school? I really don't want to go to school, you know? And then like, cause like, um, you know, and then they just said that just to, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's because of the video. We're watching this one. Yeah. Me too. Oh, so sorry. If, if I have a kid later and then if my kid doing uh, experience the same thing, I think I will tell him or her, okay, you don't have to go to school like that, you know? It's 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 too cruel for them to go school every day. It's horrible. Yeah. If if they if parents want them uh their children to study, they yeah they could just do the homeschool, and then I think that's way better. Like sometimes, uh, you don't have choice. Like the people around you sometimes. You may be like face uh, very shitty people, but that's not the whole world. You can have another chance to meet better people. But yeah, so feel so sorry. Left over when we finally decide to smash all the things we thought we used to be. And if you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Look a little closer. Stare a little longer. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite everyone who told you to quit. You built a cast around your broken heart and signed it yourself, you signed it. They were wrong! Because maybe you didn't belong to a group or a clique. Maybe they decided to pick you last for basketball or everything. Maybe you used to bring bruises and broken teeth to show and tell but never told. Because how can you hold your ground if everyone around you wants to bury you beneath it? You have to believe that they were wrong! They have to be wrong. Why else would we still be here? We grew up learning to cheer on the underdog because we see ourselves in them. 
we stem from a root planted in the belief that we are not what we were called. We are not abandoned cars stalled out and sitting empty on some highway. And if in some way we are, don't worry. We only got out to walk and get gas. We are graduating members from the class of we made it. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course, they did. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act that has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty. This is why I love Twitch. I feel like I found the right place. People here, less judgment. I mean, still a lot of people here judging me. <laughs> but like, uh, I think this place is a little better than like other places. Like, like, because I like TikTok. I like, I mean, not like TikTok. I, I like TikTok and then I like to do cosplay and then like uploading the step stops and then like some people like pretty sure that the Twitch chat, uh, some, some people really don't like you know, I think most of Twitch chat does, doesn't don't like the TikTok or something. They typing like, "Oh, cringe! Oh, you can stop! Why you doing this? Fucking cringe! You do another cringe shit again! Oh, stop it! Like that." So at the first time, I kind of care about it, but whatever. Like whatever, dude. It's it's my free. It's my life. If I want to do it, I can do it. You know. <laughs> If you don't want to be called Weeb, I will stop it. I know, it's okay, it's okay. Calling me Weeb is fine, just, uh, just, I think that I'm not a Weeb, that's it. I don't feel offense, like, when you guys call me a Weeb, but I just think that, I just think that I am not a Weeb. Just, I like anime, cosplay, but I'm not a Weeb. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't like hentai. I mean, guys, it's like a, it's like a, it's it's. Uh. Okay, so, so, I don't uh check hentai every day or something like that. I just think that if I have to choose between real human porn and hentai then I think I prefer the second option that's it it doesn't mean that I love hentai or something like that you know what I'm saying? did you get the point? <laughs> and I don't like tentacle stuff that's so weird Tentacle stuff is like uh, another things of the have a fetish about the alien. I choose balloons instead. <laughs> alien uh, fetish is like uh, another. Oh, no, no. Anime balloons? I still love real sex with real person. I mean, yeah, like, like. Most of most of people will prefer to have a uh, with the real person, and then and that's very, that's very, like, common thing, normal thing. I mean, guys, wait, wait a minute. I don't want to have a like, the like pillow. Wait, wait a minute. This conversation is getting a little bit weird. It it, it kind of sound like that. I like to with the pillow. No, 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 no. Not the anime pillow or something. No. I like human too. I like human too. I love human. I love human. But just um Yeah. No <laughs> the red Goku pillow. Shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Stop doing I don't do those kinky shit with my Ren Goku guy. Jesus Christ. Dari, thanks for five months though. Ren Goku is just like a... Just like uh, my idol, like the, 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 the guy that I like. I'm not kinky, chat. No! 
you do with Rangook in your dream? No, I am not kinky! Jesus Christ! Rangook went- No! I was, I was never- Wait, there's Rangook hentai? But- I, I would never search it for that! No! Fucking hell! I uh, don't- don't ruin my- Don't. Don't- don't corrupt my Rengoku. Don't do that. Please, don't. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Real life able sister DIY. Oh, Rangoku Senpei, please lay your eggs inside me, pill shy. Jesus Christ! Too far, man! The fuck? Interesting stream tonight. <laughs> oh god, save us our life. Oh, this stream is on holy shit. <sighs> Let's see. What would happen if Korea united into one country? Oh, this looks interesting. This video was made possible by Skillshare. Start learning for free for two months by being one of the first 1,000 to sign up at skl.sh slash reallifelore30. This is South Korea, and this is North Korea. Despite being related, you've maybe heard that they don't exactly get along very well with one another. But what would happen if they did, and North and South- Wait, he talked too fast. South simply joined together and became Korea. Basically a lot of really weird things, because despite both being Korea- I mean, it doesn't have a subtitle, so- <laughs> It's hard for me to understand, chat. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to find <laughs> two countries that were any more different. When you look at an overview of the two countries, you'll notice that North Korea has a population that's only half the size of the South. Oh. But more alarmingly, the North Korean economy is pathetically smaller than the South's. Uh -huh. 54 times smaller, in fact. North Korea is only the 150 No subs, yeah, it doesn't have the economy, subtitle. While South Korea stands tall as the world's 12th largest economy. However, North Korea does have more to offer the South than meets the eye. North Korea has a massive supply of natural resources like coal, uranium, and metals in addition to a large pool of cheap, unskilled labor that the South doesn't have. While the mm -hmm. South, in turn, has a massive amount of capital, technology, and high-skilled workers that the North doesn't have. The combination True. of these two together would gradually transform Korea as a whole into an economic powerhouse. A paper written by economists said Goldman Sachs back in 2009 suggested that a unified Korea would have potential to surge ahead to the world's seventh largest economy by 2050, blowing oh. past Russia, Canada, Brazil, and Italy. United Korea has potential to be an extraordinarily <laughs> what the powerful fuck is this country flag, the man? State. Jesus Christ, he created the weird flag. But the road to get there is going to be long and painful. And here's why. <laughs> Let's compare the flag. difficulties of reunifying <laughs> Korea today with the difficulties of reunifying <laughs> a similar country back in the 1990s. Germany. Just like Korea, Germany was divided in half for decades between a capitalist and communist side. But unlike Korea so far, Germany eventually came back together. And there's good reasons for why it was possible for Germany, but hasn't been for Korea. Germany didn't experience a violent civil war between the two sides that killed millions of people, while Korea did. Geographically, East Germany had a political enclave of West Germany deep inside of the country, West Berlin, which easily allowed information and knowledge of the outside world to enter East Germany. North Korea's geography Belgium wants is to split very too. different. Like now? There are no political enclaves inside of the country. Next There's Germany? To the east and the west, the I'm not sure. In human history, like time with passed millions to... of soldiers and landmines like in the... now? It, it has been very long that the Korea is split it. So um, I feel like there are gonna be a lot of side effect if we are uh, united. Like if we were united, like uh, Germany united kind of very fast. No, like 
not much for a long time as well. How long how long the Germany was like a split it, Chad? 40? Really? That long? Oh, never mind. That's pretty long. I thought they um uh, united very uh fast. Mm. It's like because uh like when I were young, when I was a kid, we still were pretty related. The people of North Korea and South Korea was pretty related because they have a family, you know, on North and South like that. Such as when I was a kid, my, my father's family were in North Korea, you know? Yeah, family. Because like uh, my father's family were from North Korea and then the because of the war the the country was uh, split so they couldn't go back and then they started to live here so that means that his old uh, what is that relatives is that right like cousins like uncle auntie they all in north korea you know so when the like uh, it's like related directly related you know but now time passed too long they all passed away probably they they were too old all passed away so now basically we are just like a stranger we don't have family anymore they're almost almost all the family is like all gone almost they, they, they the time passed too long so all the family just like um passed away you know they they are too old so now yeah the 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 generation who experienced the war kind of like gone and then now it's like a new generation so even though we're north south korea it's not like a same country anymore it's like a too different we have we have been splitted as a two different country for a long time thanks for the five months up nerd <laughs> All around nerd. Thank you so much. Thank you. It sounds weird. Thanks for the sub nerd. <laughs> Thanks nerd. <laughs> sounds so bad. Thanks for the five months up. <laughs> I mean his name is nerd Chad. It's not my fault. Yeah. And the, the government and the politics also true. It's like. I don't know. When I was young. I thought the the country should be united but now i'm not sure maybe it's better to live as a two separate countries and just respect each other not try to concord each other you know so that's how i feel like South, personal thinking the only countries to the north were fellow communist countries china and the soviet union it is geographically way harder to get outside information or yeah but like uh the good thing is that if the korea have a good relationship or like uh end the war yeah and then you not uni unify unification then we south korean can go europe with train you know the the train start from here to all the way to the europe that would be freaking cool amazing you know uh russia has like a the all the trade all around from the bloody bus talk to the moscow you know like all the way you know and then so basically it's it's i, I feel like it's gonna be like huge um revolution because like we can go anywhere like china through train you know china uh russia europe or like other asia country and then they can like bring all the natural resources like it's gonna make a more big trade market and then korea gonna be like more bigger more knowledge into north korea than it was for east germany which means that north koreans are far less aware of how much wealthier south koreans are than east germans were of west germans worst of all though north korea is way those two countries are starting to cause problems right now which country? China and Russia? What did they do? Monka W. 
What did they do? <laughs> Their usual stuff? Chad knows something? I don't know. What didn't they do? I don't know. They have done nothing. Way more economically depressed than East Germany ever was. In 1990, mm, West Germans had incomes the that were Taiwan three issue. times higher okay. on average than East Germans. But today, mm. South Koreans have incomes that are 22 times higher on Ukraine. average than North Koreans. Mm. In the event of a sudden reunification like what happened in Germany, a flood of low-skilled and uneducated North Koreans Probably are going to come US. down to the South, and the South is going to have to foot the bill to raise living standards and development back in the North. This could cost the South Korean taxpayers up to 1 trillion US dollars to accomplish over a period of 10 years, which would almost certainly stagnate and harm the economy in the short run. So kind of because Did you of that, see that, a lot Chad? of people in South this Korea don't even a want reunification anymore. Polls have consistently shown that only around 56% of South Koreans actually want reunification these days, while an overwhelming 72% what do you have? of young South Koreans under huh? 30 don't want it at all. And that that doesn't even factor in what North Koreans might think. There's currently around 30,000 North Korean defectors we who have escaped smart and are people. living in South Korea. And integrating into people. the radically different culture there has been <laughs> difficult for all of them. North Korea is, effectively, an absolute Stalinist monarchy ruled by the Kim dynasty where citizens' needs and jobs are mandated by the government. While South Korea is a liberal democratic capitalist state with cutthroat competition for employment, North Korean men have to serve 10 years in the military wow. and they aren't used to competing for jobs or employment. So defectors naturally always struggle to adapt in the very different environment of the South <laughs> and they will struggle under a reunification like, uh, as well. But perhaps the biggest challenges that Korea faces towards a reunification are geopolitical ones. Most importantly, what happens to North Korea and the Kim dynasty? <laughs> North it? Korea looks controls like a the Minecraft. largest military of any country in the world in terms of sheer size. With over 7.7 .7 million men who have military training, which is almost one out of every three people in the country. North Korea controls 1,300 aircraft, 300 helicopters, 4,300 tanks, 70 submarines, and most frightening of all, an estimated stockpile of 60 nuclear weapons in really? addition to an unknown number of medium to short range missiles and around 5,000 tons of chemical weapons. Guys, do you, do you think that they actually have the nuclear weapons? But don't have the missile to shoot directly to the US. I thought they didn't they doesn't have they don't have it. They do they have it? But they just don't have the missile to shoot to the US or something like that? Too far? Weapon isn't just the bomb. Oh Having a oh okay oh they have a missile that will reach so you're saying that they have all technology but just not doing it try not to cause a problem or something like that uh -huh. just not using it. Then why do they make it? Why do people in that country keep making those tip like those weapons? Flex? To threaten? Show off? Like I have this, I have this, and I have this, and I have this. So if you try to fuck me, I will fuck you, man, like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. If Korea reunified under the exactly. rule of the, South, oh, okay, the okay. fate of this massive and deadly mm. army is just unknown. The nukes. They are looking for sponsors, similar to IG. <laughs> And chemical weapons may be dismantled or sold off to less trustworthy people like terrorists. And the unemployed North Korean nuclear weapons scientists themselves may leave to find work with a new employer somewhere else. 
Unification is a potential powder keg of uncertainty that could go smoothly or go violently explosive. So the plan for reunification in the South currently is a gradual one, whereby North Korea slowly becomes incorporated into the South and begins as a sort of one country, two system style of government, not too unsimilar to the relationship between China and Hong Kong. This way, the North keeps a high amount of autonomy, could even keep Kim around for a while and gradually over a few decades get absorbed into the government of the South. But things could obviously go pretty differently. North Korea could theoretically collapse seemingly overnight the same way that East Germany did, which could lead to a whole list of possible crazy scenarios. Fast Korean reunification would dramatically upset the balance of power in Asia, just like the reunification of Germany did in Europe. And as far as China would be concerned, it'd be a disaster. The flood of unskilled and uneducated North Korean migrants may move south, or they may move north into Manchuria, which would be a massively destabilizing event for China, especially when you consider that a unified Korea could further inflame ethnic nationalism among the millions Jeju of Koreans had a similar political position not that long ago. And as the other emerging eh? no. global superpower, China worries that it is being actively contained by the other global superpower, the United oh. States. South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and the Philippines are all considered major allies of the US, which, <laughs> interestingly, okay. all seem to be located close to China and could be used to block Chinese Shut expansion. Up. China Shut up, America. resents Shut up. and they use North Korea as essentially a buffer state in East Asia between themselves and the US allies of the region. If North Korea suddenly collapsed, though, it might mean South Korean soldiers or Fuck up that Kai Kona American w face. soldiers Fuck moving up. in and setting up bases on China's very border, which the Chinese Communist Party could never accept. If it looked like North Korea would quickly join a united Korea that would maintain a close alliance with the US, China would almost certainly intervene to prevent it. Just I like learned they did this the last from time this almost happened in the Korean Fuck War. China might just outright invade North Korea on their own and take the country and, and over what themselves was it? to prevent it from falling into the hands of the US led alliance. In order to have any hope at being successful, a united Korea would have to walk a fine line this. between China and the United States and probably strive their best towards neutrality. Going too far towards America would infuriate China with the Wait. prospect of another country falling out this. of their orbit nope. into the American Wait, sphere. It... But going too far towards this? China ah, would cause uneasiness in both America <laughs> and Japan. However Wait, it goes it though, this? the initial costly Not investment this? in reunification would eventually pay <laughs> off for the Korean people as a whole. By Wait, it looks like Korea a... would likely already it looks be like a... the global Wait, great what? powers for the first time in history. She would have at like, least how? the seventh largest economy in the world, yeah, and Power likely Ranger. even higher than that. <laughs> Some economists even expect that a unified Thanks, Korea man. could eventually overshadow wait, even wait, wait. Japan to become the Is world's third largest economy, remaining this? only behind China and the United States. Korea would have this? an enormous population, around 80 million Not strong, this? with some of the most advanced technology in the world, the largest standing military on the planet, potentially dozens of nuclear weapons if they this. decided to keep them, Can and you do this an incredibly too? strategic geographic this or location this? at the crossroads of the most valuable <laughs> trade route in the entire world between the world's second and third largest economies today. Korea would be a great power, but the road to get there is long and difficult. Before I made this video, I've been mostly stuck in my house this? not really doing anything for the past <laughs> couple of weeks. If you can relate to that, then you're probably getting pretty bored just like I am. And I've got the perfect thing to suggest you go do next. This great class Genie? on making cinema style iPhone <laughs> filmmaking Genie? by Niles Gray and Caleb Babcock. Oh, okay. That's a uh, interesting. Uh, ineffective. I don't know. Like, I think South Korea has been developed too much. So basically, we don't need to, you know, we, we're, we're, I think we're not the one who is desperate for that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's not much things that we can, like, uh, um, advantage, you know? Let's see, what time is it? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll be right back, chat. I want to go pee. And then maybe we watch one more or something, and then let's play the game. Muse Dash. <clears throat>
pick up the phone every morning. But government keep calling me that if I'm okay or not. That's crazy, isn't it? Backflip? I can't do the backflip. Like, the government keep calling every morning and then check if the people are uh, well or not. Yeah, yeah. Hello, you okay? Yeah, exactly. Hello? Uh, is this Miss Yugi? And then I said, yes. Are you okay? You're not sick? Yes. No, no, I'm fine. Like, do you have fever? No. Is your throat fine? Yes. Like that, you know. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay, of course. I'm okay. Dun, 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 dun. I, I feel like, yeah, it's a bot. It's a A A R S. is that right? I feel like today's schedule might be cancelled. Uh, okay, so if it's cancelled, I can stream a little longer than I expected. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. I'm not this one. I'm waiting for a reply. I will let you know again. Yeah, if it's uh, cancelled, I, I think I will just play some game. Love the shirts. It's the shirts that I got with the with Barry. We both we long time ago we went to the um, shopping mall and then we saw this one and then we kind of get the same pair. Like she has the same shirt, I have the same shirt. This one, the white one. But I never wear. It. I I kind of like didn't wear it. But whatever. Yeah. Let's play a little game chat. I recently I am so addicted to this game. I really love this game. Balloons. Okay. Pero pero game. Try it. It's it's good. Loud. Game itself is not that expensive, but the DLC is expensive.
ね。聞いてみるか。Let's do bad things together. Okay. Eh. Kirby Chev. What a bad day. Basically, I don't need to talk when I play this game, no? Like... It's because the microphone sound is very loud. Yeah, I will just play like this.
ナイスWait, when can we unlock this one? When can we unlock this one?
But do you know where the rush B is though? Rush B. Rush B. Game cosplay win. That's a great idea. Let's see. Rush B. Rush B. Or is there any way? Oh, hold on. I can find the. Second check. Uh... Yes. Good night, good night.
was that was a little pretty bad. Tan 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 My, my eyes are like, oh, Jesus. I can't blink it, you know? Oh.
special loot. No smell. Ooh. No smell. No smell.
level up expression. Jen Billy, thanks for the 22 months up. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Fly, huh? Oh, I think this is uh, her specialty.
Hmm. I'm waiting for the answer. Anime emotion? What is that? Anime style emotes. Ready? Go! We have seen this one. Remember this? Okay. Oh, so weird. Okay, mm, we'll see. Tired a little bit, and then I'm still waiting for the answer, but uh, not sure. And then I think I have to end the stream. Like, mm, yeah, I have some schedule today in the afternoon so thank you guys thanks for watching and then i think i will take a day off tomorrow there are some stops that i have to do right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah no stream tomorrow but then, 
Thank you so much for watching today. Um, if my schedule is changing, I might stream a game today. I'm not sure. No, no. Tomorrow, I, I, I should go to get the COVID test. So, I can't do stream. But we'll see. If my schedule of today is changing, then I, I, I think I will stream again. I'm just still waiting for the answer. Because, like, um, but anyway. So, thank you so much for our teacher. See you next time. Bye bye. Later. Later, later. Bye 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 bye. Night, night. I forgot about the bye bye song. Yeah. Are we back? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.